After defeating Russia's Anastasia Potapova at the Monterey Open Tuesday, tennis pro Alina Svitolina pledged to donate her winnings to the Ukrainian army. Svitolina, 27, who was born in Ukraine and competes in WTA events for her country, wore the blue and gold of the Ukrainian flag for her victory over Potapova whom she beat 6-2 6-1, moving her to the second round of the tournament in Mexico. It's a very, very special event, this one, for me. All the prize money that I'm going to earn here is going to the Ukrainian army, she said in her on-court interview after her win, per CNN. So thank you so much for your support. Svitolina added, in general, I was just focused. I was on a mission for my country, it's a very special atmosphere each time that I play here and especially today it's a very special match for me, and moment. She continued, I'm in a very sad mood, but I'm happy that I'm here playing tennis, it's nice to play in front of you, thank you. Svitolina initially refused to compete against any players from Russia or Belarus amid the Russian invasion of Ukraine, stating on Twitter Monday, I do not blame any of the Russian athletes. They are not responsible for the invasion of our motherland. After tennis governing bodies announced Tuesday that Russian and Belarusian athletes would have to compete without national flags, Svitolina chose to participate in the Monterey Open, according to ESPN. The top-seeded player previously shared a message to Twitter Sunday addressing her home country in both English and Ukrainian, promising to redistribute any prize money from future tournaments. Writing to her motherland, Svitolina shared, I am currently far away from you, out of sight from my loved ones, far from my people, but my heart has never felt so warm and filled of your soul. It is difficult to express how special you are, she continued. To me you are strong, beautiful and unique. She added, you gave me everything and I cherish every piece of you, your culture, your education, your lands, your seas, your cities, your people, my people. While Svitolina said she was devastated and her eyes won't stop crying, my heart won't stop bleeding, she added, I am so proud. See our people, our mothers, our fathers, our brothers, our sisters, our children. They are so brave and strong, fighting to defend you. They are heroes. Svitolina posted her open letter as Russia's attack on Ukraine continues. The country was invaded on February 24, with forces moving from the north, south and east. Details of the attack and the fighting changed by the day, but this is the first major land conflict in Europe in decades, and hundreds have already been reported dead or wounded, including children. Thousands more people have fled or tried to escape Ukraine amid warnings of a possible refugee crisis. You don't know where to go, where to run, who you have to call, Lilia Marinkak, a 45-year-old teacher in Ivano-Frankivsk, Ukraine, told people recently of the moment her city was bombed. This is just panic, she said. The invasion, ordered by Russian President Vladimir Putin, has drawn widespread condemnation around the world and increasingly severe economic sanctions against Russia. Various countries have also pledged aid or military support to Ukraine, whose president, Volodymyr Zelensky, has called for peace talks while urging his country to resist. 
Putin insists Ukraine has historic ties to Russia and he is acting in the interest of so-called peacekeeping. The prayers of the entire world are with the people of Ukraine, President Joe Biden said as the invasion began in force in February. The Russian attack on Ukraine is an evolving story, with information changing quickly. Follow people's complete coverage of the war here, including stories from citizens on the ground and ways to help.